Primary and secondary schools in Lagos State have resumed for the first term of the 2024-2025 academic session. The Commissioner for Basic and Secondary Education, Jamil Ali Balugun, and officials of the ministry visited some schools and engaged students, teachers, and school administrators, explaining government's expectations for the new academic year. I hope you are, you are, you are from a day with new energy. Yes, sir. And we will renew up of determination. Yes, sir. Like we did the best. I will be the best in this class. 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 So, this is a simple terminology. Read, learn, and discover. And that discovery is taken to many places. Whether it's practice, some of the schools visited include Ransom Kuti Memorial Junior and Senior Grammar School, Mushi, Bet Freeman Junior and Senior High School, Suruliri, Odudua Junior and Senior Secondary School, Mushi, Ojota Junior and Senior Secondary School. Please and please and please stay out of autism, stay out of fraud. Stay out of bullying each other. So we are going to reintroduce Boy Scouts Red and Dead Guys, guys. Red, Cross, Red Cross, Brownies, and the rest. If you see something, say something. And if you say something, do something. In an interview with Education Report on TV, Mr. Jamil Ali Balugu commended the state government for improving infrastructure in the schools, lauding the high turnout of teachers and students. It is more or less the uh, strategic duties of uh, my ministry and my directors and other officers to go around to ensure that the reception of the new academic care is monitored. And my observation is quite um, impressive in some. In one school there was a rehabilitation going on, which is more or less a positive, whereby the whole school structure was uh, rehabilitated and classroom painted, and probably a new set of furniture will be moved to the schools. And we can see the high commitment of teachers present in some schools, for instance, and students likewise. The Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Mr. Bayomi Abolaji, who monitored schools around the Kurudu, encouraged the students not to lose sight of their promise to contribute to a better future for Nigeria, expressing his anticipation of seeing them in influential roles in years to come. You must be focused. It is only when you are focused that you continue to remember why you are here. With the level of education we have attained, with the level of successes we have attained, we have proved to them then that yes, we will be their future, the future of Nigeria. So you also have that opportunity today to prove to us that yes, you will be the greater future of Nigeria. Are you prepared to do that? Yes, sir. Are you really prepared to do that? Yes, sir. I was in school throughout last week to make sure that all the bushes were being trimmed we repaired, we did some repairs as well. Sanitation managers have been around since last week to clean everything, clean the toilets and everything. So when the students came in yesterday, they met a very clean environment. On the assembly this morning, I brought out our safety ambassadors because I know as a principal, I cannot keep watch over everything. So I have these ambassadors, which we introduced in this school. And what do they do? 
they are the ones that move around. When they see anything that is not supposed to be in a place, they, they come to tell us. When they see something, they talk about it, they, they report to me. The commissioner also urged parents to complement government's efforts by providing the support their children require to excel in their academics.